All right, here we're here with Oberlin Senior Fallon Cook, just off the mats from her first girls' state tournament match. Uh, you've been looking for a long time to get on the uh, mats and do this. I know the end result wasn't what you uh, expected, but you guys got to do the group picture before. You got to kind of get on the mats. How kind of uh, exciting has this day been so far? It's been really like motivating. I go out there and I see girls that are just giving it their all on the mats, and it kind of makes me feel like, wow, I'm actually here. I'm experiencing this, and it's just. It's so inspiring to me, and I just love being here. Obviously, a tough draw. You get the, uh, I think, the number three seed. Actually, it'd be the number two seed because the number yeah. two seed didn't wrestle. So, um, tough draw for a first round matchup. But you obviously get to bounce back and uh, wrestle uh, up through the constellations. At this point, you just kind of refocus and try to work your way up the ladder. Yeah, I'm. I have to go out there 100 percent next time. I went out there. My coach was just like, try to give her like a really tough fight, but she was really strong and hopefully I can go out the next time and prove myself for that match. And obviously the issue in that match is she got you caught and she kind of looked like she put th got her forearm across your throat and kind of kind of cut off both your wind and your blood supply. Not, not much you can do at that point. Um, I mean, just is that just kind of a tough luck situation? Yeah, she, she had a really tight grip for one, but then um, I couldn't breathe after she had got over my throat. And as soon as he called the whistle, like the entire room started spinning. I tried to stand up, but I had to go talk to the medics after that. So. But I mean, that first match, it's in the book. So officially, you have been in a girls' state tournament. Oberlin represented in the first girls' state tournament. How kind of cool is it to be part of the, the just this historic, historic day? It's so, like, I just feel that every single girl that is here works so hard to be here and to be able to be here myself means so much and there's only been three people from Oberlin that have gone to state tournaments there was Eric Burnett and Hugh Thornton and now I can say that I've gone to state for Oberlin and I'm really excited to see all right well good luck in the next match we'll talk to you then thank you